be. NASA says there's a one in 3,000 chance of a piece, just one piece, hitting any one person. So not too worried. But the problem is the biggest piece, Wolf, is 300 pounds on impact with the Earth. Not much bigger up above, of course, but a lot of this is going to burn up. There it is, the UARS satellite. And right now it's very close to the eastern tip of Australia. See this pattern? It kind of comes and it goes a lot like the ISS pattern you could see if you wanted to look at it as well. So it travels across the globe in little sections and around and around and around. So literally, they don't have any idea where this is going to land. It's called the UARS, the Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite. In fact, it went up in 1991 to study the ozone layer. In 19, or 2005, they decommissioned it and brought it back down to a lower atmosphere so they knew someday it would tumble into out of space and into the ground. The problem is 26 pieces of this are going to hit the ground. Many of them will burn up, but 26 pieces will not burn up all the way, and the biggest one will be 300 pounds. It will fall along a 500-mile stretch from where the first one lands to where the last one lands will be 500 miles. If you'd like to just get a little bit scared for a moment, this is all the stuff that's up in the atmosphere. There are 4,000 pieces up there that they can track, 22,000 that they can't track that are so small. 1,000 of these are satellites that are working. The rest is all junk. Eventually, all of this is going to have to fall back to Earth someplace. I'm worried about that 300-pound piece, Wolf. A, a movie, a science fiction movie that could could be uh, worrisome. And if it lands in the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic, that's great. But there's a lot of land mass out there as well. That's correct. And the date that they think it's going to come down is September 24th. They have no idea whether that's plus one day or minus one day. They say that they'll be able to give us a two-hour window. Two hours, here it comes, two hours notice, kind of like that two-minute warning that the, the president gives us so that we know when to take him on TV. A two-hour notice is coming down. But there'll be 25 minutes east or west, left or right of that, that it could come down. Could be a half hour early, could be a half hour late. In that one hour stretch, Wolf, this thing travels 7,000 miles. So even after they give us the two, two hour warning, we're not gonna have an idea for within 7,000 miles. Now if they give us the two hour warning and it's here, then in the next two hours certainly would be in the Pacific Ocean. But if they give it to us when it's here, in the US, maybe Asia, and there's a lot of water out there, and a lot of people living on land too. We're going to watch it uh, very closely. I'm not worried yet, but maybe next week right. we'll all start to worry a little bit, Chad. Thanks very much.